Premiere users, have you ever wondered to yourself, wow, I could really decrease the time it takes for me to edit by using keyboard shortcuts? This is the video to tell you how. First of all, the obvious question you are probably asking is, but Caleb, there already are keyboard shortcuts to things in Premiere. Yes, I know, but I'm talking about a complete overhaul. I'm talking about rebinding these shortcuts to different keys on your keyboard so that they are easily reachable and accessible without having to press key modifiers like Shift, Control, or Alt. Step one is to figure out which functions you would like to have as keyboard shortcuts. I have personally created shortcuts for, for example, the default audio and video transitions, speed of clips, and a nifty title creator shortcut. These are useful as an editor will commonly use these shortcuts frequently and rather than having to press a combination of keys, only one key press is needed. Eventually, I hope to figure out how to apply specific effects to clips in Premiere by using keyboard shortcuts, maybe an idea for a future video. In the 2017 update to Premiere Pro, the Visual Keyboard Shortcut Mapper tool was introduced. It was super useful to people like me who wanted to remap the keys on their keyboard without the fuss of scrolling through the massive list that was present in 2015.4. To access this, simply hold down Ctrl, Alt and K, or navigate to the Edit drop-down menu and select Keyboard Shortcuts. You can create your own layout, search for specific functions, or move around functions on the Visual Keyboard. An example of this is as follows. I want to be able to move clips up and down tracks in Premiere. A shortcut is this for this, Alt plus up arrow slash down arrow, but that's too far away from my regular hand placement, WASD. To remap this, we have two options. One is that we can remap the key in Premiere itself, or we can build an auto hotkey script to do it for us. I personally prefer building the AHK script because I can work it into my already existing AHK script that I use for the rest of my keyboard shortcuts. More on that later while also meaning that all of my key mappings are the default ones, making them easier to search for. However, if you wish to remap the key from within Premiere, this is how to do so. Navigate to the search bar from within the keyboard shortcuts menu and type in clip. Usually searching for the keyword will bring up the result you are looking for. Scroll down to the timeline panel section and the first result we see is nudge clip selection down. This is the first macro we want to change. Double click on the shortcut and insert your own shortcut. In my case, I want this new shortcut to be Shift plus F, as the F key is what I use to zoom in and out of the timeline. Although this may seem like the easiest way to do it, and in reality it is due to the added visual keyboard, I still prefer my AHK scripts. It means I can refer to the long list of keyboard shortcuts on the Adobe website and have them all accurate, while my AHK script will tell me which shortcuts have been programmed and what they do. To do this, download a really cool program called Auto Hotkey. On the page, click the blue download button and select the installer. Go through the prompts and once it's installed, open a notepad instance. Down in the description there is a set of code, copy that and paste it into the notepad. This code is a small set of code taken from the Auto Hotkey documentation on macro creation. When saved and run, this hotkey will allow the user to run Notepad from holding down the Windows plus N keys. It is essential that you put return after every macro you code, otherwise when you execute the macro, every macro after it will be executed. Cool stuff, but we can expand upon this. Another set of code can be found within the description which remaps the nudge clip selections up slash down to an unset key. You need to fill in the key yourself. When the script is saved and run, pressing the key you set will activate the macro, thus nudging the clip selection up slash down. Remember that return must be added at the end of your macro or all macros below will activate. From here, the stage is yours. Create as many macros as you wish for all different functions. That essentially wraps up the video. I hope it helps some of you editors out there with speeding up your workflow. If you enjoyed this video or it helped you, please drop a like. Want to see more of my content? Hit that subscribe button. Having any other issues, leave a comment and I will try to address them in either a comment or a whole nother video. I hope you're all doing well and I'll see you in the next video.